Drop a like and subscribe the bottom right hand side of the video. We are on the way to 4,000 subscribers. If we can get 4,000 subscribers by September, that would be freaking awesome. Sheesh. And someone literally vandalized my truck, bro. I'm gonna go get my jacket. What is going on, Amp? I hope you're having a great morning, afternoon, evening, and watching this video. Welcome back to the channel, boys and girls. Um, you blew up the last three videos, so I really appreciate that. Um, we actually, I know the bumper's still in the bad state right now, but you, first of all, you hear how solid that is? All right, but yeah, we still have to grind it. We actually went to the paint shop today and got some paint matched. We're gonna be doing it ourselves um, with the same gun that we sprayed the boat with over there. And uh, it should turn out not too bad. We got a single stage, uh, just a quart, and it should, it should do. But, <sighs> that's not the point of this video. Today's video is about this Mick Tuning tail light bar, boys and girls. This is honestly one of the most aesthetically pleasing mods you can do to a truck, in my opinion, uh, if you have a nice, clean tailgate bar. Now, I'm about to have to take my tailgate off because I'm going to be taking off this wrap. Um, I'm going to be taking off this wrap, doing some body work, uh, make sure all the body work is filled in properly, um, getting this big old dent out the rear, and then um, we're going to be taking off this whole lower panel right here, doing body work on all of this back end right here, and then we'll be re-wrapping the whole, um, just the rear end. Um, and I have to lower my roll pan, I, have, I drilled the holes, and I have to lower it down just a tad bit to make everything work because... Um, as you can see, um, it is hitting just a little bit right there, and that's just because it's just, you know, raised up. So I'm going to unscrew these screws right here, and I'm going to uh, get a hammer, knock it down a little bit, and screw it in lower. And that should, in theory, work out pretty well. God, it is humid today. Someone vandalized my truck as well. So, don't look at this, because I've already told you this is bad. And shitty, oh my god, shit. vivid vinyl sucks, dude. Like, this is the worst vinyl to work with, y'all. Like, good lord, this crap sucks. But anyways, look what someone had the audacity to do. I came out of the side of my truck this morning, and someone literally vandalized my truck, bro. Like, cool. You know, I get it. You're jealous. Your boyfriend likes it, okay? I can't help that. And someone literally vandalized my truck, bro. You know? <laughs> Joke's on you. I will never get this vinyl again. I would never recommend it to anybody either. But enough of the talking, y'all. Let's get into the video. Boom. Oh yeah, that's looking good, mate. That is looking freaking fabulous. All right, see, mate, how uh, this right here. That red is coming off with a little bit of a straighter angle. And this son of a biscuit right here is coming out a dang boat ramp right here. <laughs> oh yeah, I dropped like a good inch right here off this. So it's gonna look a lot cleaner. Can't wait to show you guys. It's really cold in South Carolina already. I mean, it's freezing. I'm gonna go get my jacket. All right, now we're gonna be doing the old glorious unboxing of this Mick Tuning tail light bar. Now, if this stupid airplane, I'm just kidding, airplanes aren't stupid, but that one is, um, would be quiet, we could get into it. So this is your, this is your adapter, excuse me, if, you, if it's too short. Um, and this is what you get in the kit. You're gonna get instructions, and we aren't going to cheap out and not have reverse lights, boys and girls. We're about to tap into these reverse lights. So, we, I'm gonna have to come in here, cut this off, uh, this uh, connector, and splice them back in there together because that connector will not fit behind um, this roll pan. So, I'm just gonna have to get the wires down there first, and then 
I must have broken the, the, the rope pan on accidentals. But that's okay though. Dang, that thing was in there, wasn't it? Hey, shoot, if you ain't break nothing, you ain't doing it right. Woo, boy. You get this in the mail, this ain't gonna smell like skunk, but I think it's the glue. But it smells like skunk on a Pennsylvania highway, if you know what I'm saying. We'll reveal, shall we? Oh, shucky, shucky. Oh, snap. All right, right now I got the uh, new bolts mounted. Um, I just test fitted the tailgate. It closes properly now. I um, mean, it actually looks a lot better, obviously, because it is proper. And I'm actually gonna be wrapping this this time um, without the tailgate on. I think I did with the tailgate on last time. I kind of just had to suck it in there, but look at me, look how much I was scraping, y'all. But not too big of a deal. We got it figured out now. Um, basically, right now, all I'm doing is uh, filling in these gaps right here, hitting it with a piece of wood on the hammer, and trying to make it as flush as possible because I don't want uh, that tailgate bar to look all wavy when you're looking at it from left to right. Um, up straight forward, it might look good, but from left to right, it might look a little wavy, and I don't want that. So. Uh, attention to detail now, um, uh, show season, we got two shows we're trying to get VIP into, so we got to fix a lot of things. We're going to be ordering some gloss black wrap for the roof, uh, fixing this right pillar, um, fixing the driver door, and yeah, adding a lot of few things um, here and there just to make it look a lot better. Let's get back into the solution. Alright, had to go to the parts store as usual, uh, wouldn't be a... It's hand video without a parts store run, but we headed by this sweet looking adapter. I'm gonna tuck it and um, put it on the inside of this so it's not really dangling down, uh, so it's kind of hidden. But we're about to test fit this real quick. Okay, so one of my connectors is burnt out, so I'm coming up under here and I'm about to. Unfortunately, take apart this brand new uh, thing I just bought, but it is what it is, and then I'm gonna uh, hardwire these to this. All right, I think I got it in order. I'm colorblind though, so we're about to see how this worked out. All right, now that we got our uh, tow hitch thing mounted, we uh, snipped the wires, and I'm about to mount the bar. Uh, it has 3M uh, adhesive backing, so I already isopropyl alcohol wiped down the tailgate. Now all it's left to do is just peel this off and stick it. Feed the wire down uh, this channel right here and tap into everything. I'm about to actually do the brake light first, or the reverse light. Alright, so for this, I just fed it all the way under. This uh, tail light channel right here on the left, I went under the truck, came up through the bottom hole, and basically all I'm going to do is uh, probably snip it about here. Give me a good little lead right here, because I'm going to be splicing this into the uh, reverse light, obviously, exposed. I have a razor blade right here. Ooh, about got myself. I'm just gonna cut a little bit. I don't have a wire tap where I would be using that, obviously. That's the preferred method. All right, so as you saw, basically, basically I just uh, spliced that into there. And I'm about to put the tail light back on. Um, I think this actually turned out not bad, um, considering the location. I uh, ran the wires up through the frame rail and they come down right about here. Um, for the most part, pretty hidden. Um, considering as a roll pan, you know, you really can't see it at all, but that looks really good. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come Clearance is good. So I took the tailgate back off real quick. Um, like I said, don't mind this, guys. It's getting Raptor lined very, very soon. But back to the story. Um, 
Before I put these on, this thing comes with an extra inline fuse, which is awesome in case you blow your fuse. Um, and I'm adding these two little end tips right here because they weren't sticking the best. So that's really cool that they come with these. Uh, very slick design and comes with a little more uh, reassurance that your thing's going to stay on there. So I'm just adding these on real quick and then I'll put the tailgate back on and then we'll go through a review. I mean, this thing is beautiful. I love it. When I get all this wrapped up in there again, it's gonna look real nice. It's about eye level to, I mean, a car is definitely gonna see it. Um, it kind of hides itself once you get up to it, obviously. Um, that's expected with the roll pan, but. Drop a like and subscribe the bottom right hand side of the video. It really mean a lot to me. And uh, we have a lot of stuff in store just like this. But like I said, we're doing the body work soon. Uh, getting everything buttoned up on the body work. Looking magnifico. And that's literally next. Probably polishing the wheel or polishing the wheels. Um, painting the bumper and installing the pods and all that stuff, the lace fit pods. Um, all that's coming probably next video and then everything else will just fall into place. But um, if you did like today's video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. Like I said, boys and girls, it really mean a lot. Uh, we are on the way to 4,000 subscribers. If we can get 4,000 subscribers by September, that would be freaking awesome. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed today's video. Love, peace.